Bethany, and I'm Hannah, and we're Sisters of the Bride. And we just wanted to give a little toast. Um, there's so much we could say about Sierra and Tyler, but we're just going to keep it um, short and sweet. And there's just a few things we wanted to say. So for Sierra, as you go through life, there are things that are just sometimes are, there are big things that are just burned in your memory. And for me, so many of those things, Sierra has been by my side and been with me for so many big moments. And um, I remember distinctly <laughs> the day I realized that I would never catch up, that I would always be two years behind, and that we just like wouldn't be able to be together forever. And the immense loss <laughs> of that, like that realization, is still with me. That was a that was a burning moment when I that was a burning moment for when um, just Sierra has meant a lot for so long, and. Even though I outgrew her in like seventh grade, she's always been my defender and she's shown me how to love and how to be a friend. And I think one of the biggest things she's taught me is that in the end, it's kindness that matters. And she, she never gave up on me. She's always been an ear and a best friend and a big sister. And every day I'm blown away by how huge her heart is. Because if you've ever met someone with a bigger heart than Sierra Rose, I don't know who you are. <laughs> But I've known her for my entire existence, and she inspires me, and I see beauty in her life and the way she lives every day. And I couldn't be more excited for what she's, what she's doing, what she's, um, the life she has ahead of her, and for her and Tyler to continue. So Bethany's going to see And um, Tyler, I first heard your name um, a couple times from Sierra in phone conversations that summer that you were at Big Lake. And finally, after I heard Tyler Roberts and Tyler Roberts, and I was finally like, okay, what's going on? I wonder. So I did what any big sister would do. I got on Facebook, <laughs> and I totally creeped on you. <laughs> and Tyler, I don't know if you realize this, but there was not a single picture, not a single normal face in any of your pictures. <laughs> and I thought, who, who is this guy that my sister's hanging out with? In fact, a year later, when I finally met you, I didn't even recognize you from my, from my Facebook creeping. And it took me a little while. I wasn't sure about Tyler at first. It's like, who? It took all of us a little while. No. Because, <laughs> um, um, you know, I've loved Sierra my whole life, and this guy just came in, and all of a sudden, he, she was consumed with him. And I thought, wait a second, he didn't pass the sister test. Well, hold on. Um, but Tyler, you won me over pretty quick, and I've loved watching you and Sierra, and I've loved watching how much you love her, and how good you are to her, and how much you've embraced the entire family. I love that um, you'll come over to our house on a Friday night, even when Sierra's not there, just to hang out with us and hang out with the kids, and um, that you've been such a good big brother to all of my little siblings. It's a joy to watch that, how you've included me in your life. Um, and I want to take Pastor Monty's advice, he said today, to say the words. I feel like, Tyler, you've been really good at always telling me that, that you love me. So I want to say tonight, Tyler, I love you. That's it. Cheers. <laughs> um, when Tyler was trying to decide who his best man was going to be, he, uh, it's a wedding and there's pictures. So he first called the best looking person he knew. Uh, and the person said, no, couldn't make it. So he called the funniest person he knew. The person was unavailable. Called the smartest person he knew. The person turned him down again. So he called me and he said, Matthew, you're my brother. You're like an idol to me. I worship the ground you walk on, all that stuff, you know. Would you be my best man? And I couldn't say no four times, so I was like, all right, I'll do it. <laughs> uh, No, in all, in all honesty, this is really surreal uh, for me to be standing here because um, Tyler and I did a lot of, you know, when we were kids, we did a lot of talking about our future. And uh, we had bunk beds when we were kids. We shared a room and we had bunk beds and we always seemed to get along the most in those bunk beds. So parents, vertical separation. Try it. Um, we would sit for hours. We'd lay there for hours. It's supposed to go, you know, we are having to go to sleep and we would just talk about our future and what kind of men we would be, uh, what we would look like and what we would do. I'd say things like when I grow older, 
You know, when I grow older, I want to be rich and famous. And you say things like, when I would grow older, I want to marry into a real-life version of Cheaper by the Dozen. And I, I would just, I'm just so happy your dreams are coming true, buddy. Now, if you didn't laugh at that, it's either because your sense of humor is out of tech, because that was funny. Or you didn't know, you may not, some, some people may not know that Sierra is, there's 11 kids in Sierra's family. There's 13 of you. Meeting this family is like meeting a football team. It's just like, hello, hey, hi, hi, hi. Um, and you got the six, seven, 18 year old. It's just ridiculous. It's just it's a mess. But, um, you know, and when you meet a couple, when you find out, you know, for the first time that a couple chose you know, to have 11 kids, um, <laughs> I think the, I mean, the, the natural response is, why? Um, <laughs> but, uh, you know, I, I've spent some time, not enough time, but I've spent some time with Sierra's family. And uh, you don't have to spend a lot of time with them before the question becomes, why not a couple more? Um, <laughs> because there's a, there's a peace and a serenity um, and a joy to this family of 13 that most families of four or five never figure out. And uh, I, I could not dream of a better family, Tyler, for you to start this new chapter of your life with. Um, it surpassed everything I had ever imagined growing up or sitting in those bunk things. I never imagined this. And I couldn't be happier for you. And Sierra, my goodness, you are beautiful inside and out. Um, <laughs> You have a way of putting up with and kind of honing Tyler in a way that, frankly, none of us thought possible. I, let's be honest. Uh, but um, I'll, I'll kind of steal a Zilla verse. I, I want you to know if I haven't said it already, I love you very much. Not, not out of some sense of obligation or because I feel like I have to, but because it is impossible not to. You are... You are one of the most amazing people I've ever met, and I'm just so happy to uh, welcome you into our family, and I'd like to officially apologize. Um, <laughs> no, I love you guys very, very much. Um, I, I, couldn't, I, I could not dream, I could not dream a, better, a better couple, and uh, you know, you're not a perfect couple that doesn't exist, um, but if there is a couple on this planet that has a shot at a marriage the way marriages are meant to be. It's you guys. And, and yeah, we can clap about that. Who clapped? Yeah. I love you guys so much. And Sierra, I'm so excited to get to know you and your family better and, and uh, to be able to officially call you my sister. Um, and uh, welcome you to the family. I love you guys very much. Congratulations. Cheers, y'all. Uh, so <clears throat> while we're setting up for the next uh, event, I'd like to have Tyler just here. If you guys could just stand up real quick. Um, and uh, no, no, just stay right here. It's fine. Yeah, we're good right here. So, uh, Tyler, uh, Sierra, go ahead and place your hand out like this, and, C and Tyler, uh, put your hand on top of hers. Uh, Sierra, I'd like you to whisper a secret to Tyler. Long secret. And <laughs> Okay, and Tyler, you go ahead and do the same. And uh, I'd like to let you all know that you are the only witnesses to the last time that Tyler will have the upper hand and the last word. 